Now, having expandable storage for all your electronic devices is something that is really important. Anytime you're going to pick up a phone, the first thing you have to decide is how much storage do you need? And let's face it, depending on the phone manufacturer, storage can be a premium. I just don't get how they can charge so much. So having the ability to offload your content or even have an alternative way to access content is important. And this doesn't just apply to phones. It also applies to laptops, too. Now, let's face it, if you are going to get a lot of storage on your Mac, you are paying a premium. And unfortunately, once you make that decision, in many cases, you cannot change it. So you can't expand it or reduce it. You're locked in. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at a solution that kind of breaks that barrier. We're looking at the Disk Pro from Charge. And we know them from their charging solutions. We looked at a lot of their charging solutions on the channel. And today we're going to take a look at the Disk Pro. And this is not just about storage, but this actually performs like a hub and it's super small. Let me show you how small it is. Check that out. That is small. So what we're going to do is we're going to see it in action. Uh, we're going to talk about all the capabilities and why you may want to consider one of these uh, as your next everyday carry item for your backpack or bag. I know for me, when it comes to storing content and being a content creator, having great storage is important. Let's check it out. So let's take a look at some of the specs here so you can see what's going on with this drive because this is a really cool drive. First uh, thing that we'll notice here, and you can see it right here in the box, that this has an active cooling fan, which you don't really see with a drive of this size. And you're probably going to ask yourself, why does it require any kind of active cooling if all you're doing is accessing um, content? Well, there's a couple things going on. This is more than just a drive because this is actually a hub as well. So what you notice that, that it supports USB 3, USB 2.0, right? And then it also has, um, you know, the fact that it's super slim um, is also really cool. It has MagSafe technology, which means it's going to attach your phone really nicely. And let me just go ahead and bring it on camera. And it's actually a hub. It's a hub that also has video out capabilities, which I would have never expected something this small would have it. So you're going to be able to get great um, video content out of this as you connect an HDMI port to it. And the cool thing about this is that it supports both 4K and 8K content out. So let's take a look at, we'll leave this here on the side for a second so you can see the drive. So the drive, as you can see right here, is pretty straightforward. You can see uh, it has its fan here. It has an integrated USB-C cable. And I'll pull this out so you can see what that looks like. And you can just put it back in like this. But once you open this up, this is where kind of like all the magic starts showing up. Here you have your two USB-A connectors. You also have an HDMI. So this, you can actually use it uh, to create or have a video out. So it's actually a hub. And then you have your USB-C. And this USB-C is both for data and also for charging. Now, I've discovered a couple things when using this. And one thing is that there are certain USB-C cables that would just won't fit. Now, I want to show you one that does and then uh, this explain what I've noticed in my testing. So first of all, uh, you'll notice here that this USB-C tip right here, um, the actual encasing is thin. When you put it in, it kind of goes in really easily and it's set to go. If you have a cable that is wider, let me see if I have one here because I had one at my desk, it will not accept it, right? It's going to reject it because it's too thick. Let's see if this one's the same size. Yeah, this one will work. I'm trying to find one that I can share with you. All right, so here's an example of one of the cables that will not work. You'll notice how this has a wider area. When you go to insert it, it's not going to go all the way in because of the, uh, because of the housing right here, how it blocks it. Uh, this one won't work. But the difference is not that significant when it comes to cables. I'm going to bring another cable here on camera so you can see the difference. You notice how much wider this is? This has a wider area here. That's what you're going to run into if you have those wide cables. Now, I have a lot of cables, right? So that, that isn't the case with the majority of my cables because it connects really easily. But if you do get this drive, just be aware of the fact that you have that limitation right there that uh, you have to be aware of. Now, as far as speed, this thing is fast. I'm going to go ahead uh, and connect this to my Samsung uh, S, uh, well, Samsung Fold 7. And I want to see, well, show you how it powers up, right? So we're going to go ahead and connect this. And this, by the way, is going to work on Android. It's going to work on iOS. It's going to work on a lot of different type of devices. So as soon as you connect this, uh, a couple things that you have the choice to do. Uh, first of all, you can use this USB-C for a pass-through. Or you can use this to access other drives. So, for example, uh, I do a lot of my recording and, like, physically, like right now, I have um, some uh, recording devices that are actually connecting and recording the straight to disk. 
And what I do is it's using you know standard disk um, interfaces. So I'm able to connect the USB-C converter to this drive and actually access the content that is there. Uh, several Blackmagic type products we use. Now, what I wanna show you is that I can also use this as a pass-through to charge my phone. So if I am doing any kind of editing on my phone or working with content, what I could do is I can plug into this drive and you notice it lit up telling me that it's charging right here. So it's actually charging uh, and it's fast charging because this is a fast charging pass-through. So again, just watch this for a second. I'm gonna unplug, right? And you notice that it's giving me the message. I'm gonna go ahead, plug, plug it in and then you're gonna notice that it's right there charging. And again, this is super fast charging because of the teal uh, color that you see right there. Now, I can access content, I can charge my phone, and I can also access content, or I don't have to charge my phone at all if I don't want to. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead into this drive really quick, and you'll notice that this, this version is a one terabyte drive, right? So I'm gonna go into it. And these are some videos that I've um, been using uh, in my editing process. I actually use a iPad uh, Pro, and I have all the videos of the videos that I've been working on on there where I do my editing, and then I use um, whatever application to actually do the editing. Now, I wanna show you how quickly the navigation is when I go from one side to another. I'm gonna go ahead and click here. You notice how fast that is. I'm gonna go into my September directory, and then here I have some videos that I've been working with. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here, and you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and access one of them. I just wanna show you how fast it launches. And I'm gonna choose my application, and boom, it's up. So this is a screen recording that I'm doing on a vacuum review, and it's really, really fast. If I go over here to video source and I go into September, here's another file. It, the access is just spot on and it's really quick. The cool thing also is that it serves as a hub. So you have multiple drives. So I'm actually connecting other drives to this to have access to it. Now keep in mind that as you add other drives, your phone or device may not have enough power to support all those devices connected. So having it powered helps. Now, if you connect this to a laptop, not a problem. If you connect this to an iPad, I haven't had any limitations with the iPad, but I do find that having it powered with those devices, especially if I have multiple things connected, it makes a lot of sense. HDMI out is pretty cool. The fact that you can get four or 8K out also expands things incredibly. Now, launching files also of all types. So I'm gonna go ahead and into this directory again, and I'm gonna basically uh, bring up this file. This is a 2.41 gigabyte file. I'm gonna choose it. And I'm gonna basically say just once to open this up and you can see how quickly that launched. So this is really, really fast. Moving files to and from this is super fast. Now, the cool thing about this is that it also works on a PC. So let's check it out. Now we're gonna go ahead and test out the drive. I'm gonna drag a pretty large file, 14 gig file onto the drive just to see how well it performs. And you can see here how much time it's taking. And it is taking less than a minute, 10 seconds uh, is what it says it's gonna to take to transfer a 14 gigabyte file. Now remember, this is a one terabyte drive. Uh, this is this is good. This is really good performance. And you saw how quickly that was there. It moved over. If I were to, let's say, take over a, I would say a reasonable file, right? Because this is going to be something that someone like me who is content creator is going to have. But in most cases, maybe all you have is a 400 meg file. Let's see how, how that works. 400 meg. 400 meg is almost instantaneous. That is crazy. That was like really, really fast. I'm gonna see if I have anything else that's smaller. All right, let's take a look at this one. This is 800 meg. How fast is 800 meg? And 800 meg is almost instantaneous. This is a fast drive. This is the type of experience you'd have and why this is gonna be so convenient uh, to use it as an additional drive or as I have in content creation uh, because the speed is just spectacular. So guys, that was our first look at the Disk Pro from Charge. Great little product, it's fast, it's a hub, not just a drive. See you the next one.